friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock and now a side port is being made on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away and another side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber uh, beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this brown cataract to get some contrast during capsulorexis. The dye is washed out using BSS and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber. The methyl cellulose is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and it also protects the corneal epithelium and now this is capsulorexis with the help of uh, uterata forceps the anti-capsule is scratched a capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is moved clockwise anti-clockwise all around remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus a round rexis is obtained. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is done with 27 gauss cannula. Fluid wave goes from one side to the other side. And now the nucleus is rotated. The capsule is removed. 2% ASPMC is injected again to fill up the entry chamber and now the tip of the FECO needle is introduced with bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Then the head base is turned bevel is up and now the nucleus is going to be divided into pieces by this technique which I call submarine chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus like this towards the opposite equator and the nucleus is chopped like this. The nucleus is uh, then uh, rotated 180 degree and the two pieces are separated completely. In this case the one piece is bigger, this piece is bigger. It is again divided into two large pieces and now I come to the other hemineucleus and it is also divided into two fragments and now I have to find out a fragment which can yes this one the apex is attacked first and then the rest of the piece is conquered rest of the piece is divided into two smaller pieces if necessary and then it is removed. Ultrasonic energy used in this case from the very beginning is 70 percent. Flow rate is 40 and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataryx Easy vacuum machine, a basic machine of Oatly from Switzerland. But this basic machine is very good 
for all kinds of cataracts. The design of the fecal needle is such that there is enough fluid all around and wound burn never occurs even though the ultrasound is applied in continuous mode. The nucleus has been conquered and now visco is injected to fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and now in this case I used bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of cortex. Vacuum is 300, flow rate is 30, irrigation is from the right side port, aspiration from the left. In this case I found that the cortex is sticky and it is coming out slowly. This portion of the cortex was not coming out. Then I went to 6 o'clock and removed the cortex from there. Again I came to 9 o'clock and now I could remove the cortex from there. And now I use the irrigation from the left, aspiration from the right and remove the cortex from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. The cortex is really sticky and it is resisting to come out. There are some cells particularly near the 6 o'clock which I tried to remove with the cap back mode of the machine where the vacuum was around 50 and flow rate was 25 but this fragment, this uh, cells didn't come. So I used the Simco cannula and with Simco I could easily remove those fibers sticking to the posterior capsule. And now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens from Apasami Associates. This is known as Super 4. The lens has got a yellow tinge and I'm using this lens for the last 7-8 years and I didn't find any glistening in this lens. And now the side ports are closed, hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions. Having done this, a final lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out. At this time, visco molecules sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed. The anterior chamber is thoroughly irrigated and aspirated. The anterior chamber is formed nicely in this way and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.